one of the other pediatricians actually said, you know, if he doesn't grow out of it, then we'll have to do surgery on his Achilles tendon. And I said, wait, wait, what? He was about two. He learned how to walk normally. And then all of a sudden, he just started kind of getting up on his tippy toes. Every time I went to the pediatrician, I would ask about it because it was really obvious and he would get really high up there. And so I just kept asking, you know, should I be concerned about this? And they kept saying, no, he'll grow out of it. He'll grow out of it. And <laughs> finally at age five, we went through referrals to physical therapy and things of that sort to try and see if we could fix it. And we did rounds and rounds of that and it just wasn't getting any better. They would have him walk on a balance beam. They would have him walk um, do a bunch of different kind of activities with his feet to try and strengthen his arch because he's also really flat-footed um, when he's actually on his heels he's pretty flat-footed so they did a lot of stuff to try and strengthen his arch we would have to go home and do um, a game with marbles where he had to sit and pick up marbles with his toes and put them into a cup um, to try and help strengthen that that muscle. Every piece of advice I got was, it's nothing to worry about, he'll grow out of it. And just as a mom, in my heart of all hearts, was like, it's not getting better and I need to figure out a solution and I need to go to somebody that knows feet and knows children's feet and try to figure out exactly how to solve this problem. I started doing some research and I came across Pediatric Foot and Ankle with Dr. Jarman and there was a whole website page specifically for toe walking and treatments for toe walking and I just kind of immediately connected with that and thought, oh, here's my guy, <laughs> thank you. Um, and I called right away and they, they got us in pretty quickly and we started treatment from there. They were um, really great and immediately Dr. Jarman struck up a good rapport with Cameron, which was really important because doctors are a little bit scary for kids and he just immediately came in and gave him high fives and started with, you know, <laughs> started with um, talking directly with him and it, did, it wasn't you know scary for Cameron at all it was really comfortable feeling for him to kind of connect at that level with him so we learned from Dr. Jarman that tippy toe walking is actually called equinus and so that's what he treated him for and we had a course of treatment that's been going on for a little over a year now I was relieved like I knew in my heart of hearts that we needed to do something and somebody needed to figure out what to do about it. Yeah, as a mom, it was great to see him get on his heels, walk normally, look like everybody else walking to kindergarten with his backpack on, you know. It's a relief for all of us involved. <laughs> Dr. Jarman definitely made a difference. I think the, the treatment and the course of everything that we've done and, you know, the consistency of him wearing these and just kind of following the, the course of treatment was huge for us.